There you go guys, bear wash. So if you're in Chiang Mai and you've got a bear that needs washing, that's the place for you. Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to Chiang Mai. So what I thought I'd do this morning, I've got nothing really planned, but I'm just gonna walk the entire route of the ancient sort of city, where the city walls used to be. We start up with the most famous thing, which is the big gate, and walk all the way around and see what's going on. Let's go. I have just come to the ubiquitous famous gate, uh, Tapai Gate, which is uh, the entrance to the old sort of ancient city part of Chiang Mai. Um, it's all very impressive and everything, but unfortunately now it seems to be a bit of a tourist trap. Um, I'll spin the camera around and you can have a quick look. Basically, it's become a, uh, a cut through for food delivery drivers. They're all hanging around there. There's people selling bird food. There you go. And there's possibly the most annoying man I've ever met in my life taking a few bar of someone to uh, scare the pigeons so people can have selfies and all that sort of stuff. There you go. I mean, I know everyone's gonna, be, gonna make a bit of money, but whatever. But it's quite a nice area. It's clean, it's tidy, it's well kept. Sort of takes the mystique of it away by having a Starbucks at one side and a Burger King at the other, but whatever. There you go, watch this. Watch this geezer here. Whatever floats your boat, I suppose. But yeah, you just walk through. That's all your signage and all that sort of carry on. And you just come out of the gate. There you go. Coffee Club and Burger Kling. Burger Kling? Burger King. And a delivery geezer. Okay, this is a famous iron bridge, apparently. Okay guys, this is called Seafum Corner. I'm just having a walk around the entire sort of moat and all the old city. Okay, so next stop here is Chang Puat Gate, it's over there, I'll go and have a look in a minute. I've just walked down here, look at this, this is your crossing. There's about a two foot jump to get down there. I guess they didn't think about zebra crossings and stuff like that when they were building ancient cities. There's something going on here, I don't know what this is, we'll have a quick look. I guess, I know there is a flower festival in Chiang Mai going on at the moment which is not specifically my thing but we can have a little look I guess this is a display for it they're not going to be selling anything oh yeah there you go 45th Chiang Mai flower festival 222 and this lady is just making a nice display just to publicize it there we go look at that fair play looks quite nice Tell you something, there's not a lot of people walking about, there's not a lot of tourists anyway. All these red vans, I've not seen anyone on of them, on any of them. Um, I keep getting mistaken which way traffic's coming. Look around, amateur, here we go. Chang Puak Gate, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And... the northern wall, northern gate. There's absolutely no one walking around at all. People are looking at me like I'm mental. So we just stop here, just for a moment. 
just because it's a really nice temple. Just cross the road. Okay, let's have a look at this. What? Oh, here we go. What Rajamontian Sripum Amawang Chiang Mai. Here we go. Sorry about that. But this is nice, beautiful. I don't really visit too many temples just because I don't know much about them and I don't want to be disrespectful. But this is, look at this, really nice. Good job on this one. Right, it's a bit more of the ancient wall here. It's quite nice. Lots still standing here. Do you know, I didn't realise how far I've walked. A bit off a bit more than I can chew. The central just over the other side of the wall. And that took about 15 minutes in a taxi yesterday. But unfortunately you cannot go up there. For the best, I suppose. Oh, gentleman there. Now most of Chiang Mai is one way, which is why these people just driving on the pavements because they can't be asked to follow the one-way system round. Okay, you might just be able to see behind me. Just poke it that way a little bit. Police checkpoint. Stopping everyone, not just Farangs and things like that, Thai people, everything. So if you're renting a bike, which a lot of people are doing, make sure you are legal. International license or a Thai license if you're here for a long time. A helmet on. You've got everything, or you're going to get a big fine, definitely. And they're stopping people left, right, and centre over there. Right, let's carry on. Right, we're up again. Okay, nice little bridge. A few of these bridges just dotted across to walk over. And a bit of a fountain. Look at that. There you go. That's like an arty shot on these cinematic vloggers now. Look at that. But I do like Chiang Mai, it's not ridiculously hot. I mean, I've been walking around for nearly two hours now. If it had been like this in Phuket or somewhere else, oh, I'd have been in a right state. I'd have had to stop about 10 times and uh, I'd be wet through. The shop over there with coffins in, but, and wreaths and things. Not too fussed about that. I'll tell you something else as well there is coffee shops about every 10 meters. I know Chiang Mai has got some nice coffee and it's famous for it, but I have never seen as many coffee shops. Chiang Mai people must be uh, caffeined out of their mind all the time. Okay, this looks like the final turning, final corner. So by my, uh, by my calculations, not too far away from where we started at the ancient gate but I could be wrong okay get back on oh, there's some more this flower festival look at this wow these flower festivals are a right enormous thing there must be 100 200 stalls on there but now look at this all over here as well. Let's go over, see if I can get across without dying. So it looks like all this road again, where they've got flowers and all this. I can only have a look, quick look at this because a little bit further down there, I can't get down pavement again. But looks like they're doing processions. It's like floats over there. But there we go, look at this. I guess this is all going to be covered in flowers and things. It'd look a bit rough if you took it around like this, but... And if you want to, if you're in Chiang Mai at the moment, or you're coming in the next day or two and you want to know where this is, I'm just across the road from the Chiang Mai Psychiatric Hospital. So, that's a good landmark for you, isn't it? Here we go, another little point of interest. I'm not really sure what the, the score with that is, what that wheel's actually making anything go or anything but worth 30 seconds look right moving on again now every few hundred meters i see this i don't know whether they're either pumping water in 
or start pumping rubbish in or pumping water out. I did, did ask that gentleman there, but he just looked at me like I was an absolute head case. All right, another unexpected stop here. This part of the gate, oh, Chiang Mai gate. Okay, this is the southern wall. No, I don't know what you call these, like turrets or something. Yeah? Yeah, Chiang Mai gate. Can't be far away now, can't be far away. Right, what's all this? There's another corner here. Either I have miscounted the number of corners I've turned, which is the most logical explanation, or all of a sudden Chiang Mai is built around a pentagon as opposed to a square. Right, what's this? Chiang Mai city wall. Okay. So this dates back to 1296. Its town plan was built square in shape. So, well done, Scott. You've miscounted the number of corners. So there you go, guys. Bear wash. So if you're in Chiang Mai and you've got a bear that needs washing, that's the place for you. Okay, we're looking good. That's my... That's Low Crow Road there. That's where my hotel is, where I've walked up. And where we started is just up here. Now I'm just going to walk back up there just to prove a point and to prove that I have gone all the way around. Okay. Okay, fantastic. We have made it back. So this is where we started. I wonder if that bloke's still on. My mate's over there still with his traffic cone scaring birds and all that carry on. Oh, there's a guy there with a mop as well, scaring pigeons. Wonderful. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. It took me about two hours to get round. If you have enjoyed it, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot again. See you later.